For over 150 million years, dinosaurs roamed the Earth. 65 million years ago, they became extinct. For scientists looking to piece together the mysteries of these animals, fossilized bones are among the only clues left. Perhaps the greatest mystery about dinosaurs like Sue here at Chicago's Field Museum is how did they get so big? Over 20 feet tall and 40 feet long, Sue is the world's largest Tyrannosaurus rex. How she got that big is tied up in yet another mystery. How long did she live? Really, it's just like forensic biology. A mystery Greg Erickson of Florida State University wanted to solve. Greg is a biologist. His expertise is living reptiles, like lizards and alligators. If you really want to understand the lives of dinosaurs, you need people that understand the lives of living animals in the first hey, place. little guy. How are you today? Today's huge animals, elephants and whales, generally live long lives. To find out if this was also true for T-Rex, well, of course, Greg was going to need to know its age. And that's not so easy. Yeah. You see how much bigger. You know, Scientists typically age dinosaurs by counting growth rings in the weight-bearing leg bones. It's, it's, it's yep, just, just like trees, on. but not in tyrannosaurs. I was always told you can't age tyrannosaurs. The reason being is that uh, tyrannosaurs have hollow bones, just like birds. That was the problem Greg was pondering when a little over four years ago, he made an unexpected discovery at the Field Museum. Greg wasn't interested in what was on display here, but what the museum might have tucked away in the maze of corridors behind the scenes. These are all pieces of Sue. And as you can see, it's, a, it's, it's really a jigsaw puzzle that no one can put together. Yeah, that's a nightmare. Dinosaur curator Pete McAvicky's nightmare turned out to be Greg Erickson's dream come true. It was here where he found his first clue. And I pulled open the drawer here and started looking at some of these rib chunks. I realized how solid they really were. And when he looked closely, he thought he saw what shouldn't be on a rib bone. Separate, distinct lines that looked a lot like those coveted growth rings. Maybe everything he needed was recorded in these tiny chunks. I was elated. For the first time, I realized that we might be able to you know, crack the code and actually uh, age some of the, you know, the tyrannosaurs for the first time. But before he could celebrate, Greg had to make sure, back in his lab in Florida, that his discovery could accurately measure a tyrannosaur's age. He needed something living, or at least something that hasn't been extinct for the last 65 million years. And this being Florida, what better than the American alligator, a not too distant cousin of dinosaurs? Turns out these guys have growth rings too, in those same non-weight bearing bones as T-Rex did. Since we know their age, we can uh, see if the ages uh, based on the growth rings uh, match up with the actual ages of the animals. And our study showed that you can use the fibula, which is a shin bone. You can use the pubis, which is uh, one of the hip bones here. The ribs work quite well. Is it exact? I mean, is it you count the growth rings and that's how old this alligator was? Yes. It's amazing. I think, you know, people With that, understand. Greg went to work. His first order of business assemble a large enough scientific sample of backroom bones. You know, this is what we are looking for. We look for broken ends like this, and we'd see very nice growth line record. We'd see the bones. He ended up solid. with the remains of 20 different tyrannosaurs of different ages and sizes. Seven were T-Rexes, including Sue, and the rest, smaller cousins that lived millions of years earlier. So Gorgosaurus, Daspletosaurus, Albertosaurus. With these fragments, the Greg believed he would not only be able to calculate the ages of different tyrannosaurs, and, uh, which were much smaller animals, of course, but determine how T Rex grew to be so much bigger. Basically, we'll take a promising specimen like this, and then we're going to pour an epoxy resin over it and essentially re entomb the specimen here. The hardened specimen is then sliced, sanded, polished to a thickness of just seven microns and put on a microscope slide. And with the flick of a switch, the life of an animal that lived more than 65 million years ago is revealed. For the first time, science can accurately determine the age of tyrannosaurs. Since one growth ring equals one year, you put all you have to do is count. Just... So let me see if I can age this guy on my own. It's one, two, three, four, five. Five years old? in its sixth area. 
Like there's, actually, there's actually a six one right on the rim right there. Six years old. So if you went to school for like 11 years, you know, then you'd, you'd, find, that, you'd find that last one. <laughs> That's great. It's so clear. It's so easy to see. After repeating the procedure on some 60 different Tyrannosaur bones, Greg knew the exact ages when each had died. Most were in their teens. And in the case of Sue? The actual age of Sue turned out to be 28. It doesn't seem right, you know, it seems like such a short life for such a magnificent animal. And this has led me to say, you know, T-Rex lived fast and died young. I mean, this is, you know, the James Dean of dinosaurs, there's no doubt about it. Sue not only lived fast, she grew fast. And you're seeing here on Sue, you're seeing some of these broader, broader growth bands here. And as you head out towards the outer part here, all of a sudden they start getting really tight. And Narrow rings mean slow growth, wider rings fast, same as trees. And by comparing the ages when all the different T-Rexes died to their projected weights at the time, Greg could finally show how Sue grew from a 10-pound hatchling to a six-ton giant in just 20 years, with most of the growth occurring as a teenager between the ages of 14 and 18. It's just mind-boggling. You know, this is an animal that's putting on five pounds a day. So obviously it was eating just a, an enormous amount of flesh and bone, you know, to pull this off. But unlike today's huge animals, whose lifespans can be as long as ours, T-Rexes only got to enjoy their bigness for a relatively short time. And that's because we're pretty sure that Sue here died of old age. Arthritis crippled her tail, her rib bones, which were broken, had had plenty of time to heal, An infection in her mouth left holes in the back of her jaw. It was a tough life, no doubt. And now for the first time, we know just how long a life it was. Tyrannosaurus rex, the supreme killer of the Cretaceous, terrorized some of the largest creatures ever to walk the earth and earned a permanent place in our imagination, all before the age of 30. <laughs>